Hi, so uh, today we're going to go through a pretty simple example of uh, Knative serving applications in a range of common languages and frameworks. Basically, uh, languages supported as Red Hat Cloud Native runtime. So um, we're going to go through a Node.js example, C Sharp, Quarkus, Vertex, Spring Boot, and a Camel K example. Um, we're trying to, where possible, just use sort of OpenShift S2I tools, uh, reducing the need for local tooling and so on, just to kind of make it simple. Um, so first thing we're going to do is just set up our environment. Uh, we, there's two operators that we need to install. There's the, uh, the um, Red Hat Integration Camel K operator and the OpenShift Serverless operator. So in order to do that, we're just going to apply this uh, operator subscription to YAML, which is very simple. It's just um, creating the subscriptions to the Camel K and serverless operators so let us ju just do that because uh, that takes a few seconds to come through and once that's done we're going to create a knative serving project that's created and if we go into that have a look at that project uh knative serving we should see the two operators appearing there now there's the camel k one and the serving serverless one should, should arrive now just give that a second. Should come in. No, is it? I saw it there in the default name space, so it should, uh, should appear here. There we go. All right. So once that's in place, we can now deploy Knative serving into this namespace. So I'm just going to kick this off and we'll have a look at this YAML then in a second. Um, but that's effectively just a very simple YAML just saying to um, invoke the CRD in the Knative serving namespace. Um, so if we have a look at the pods there, there we go. Some of these uh, pods tend to restart. It takes can take a, you know, a minute or so just to get them all running and stable. Uh, so that's quite normal. So we'll just leave those. Uh, there you go. There's a couple of restarts there on the webhook one. Um, there we go. Just starting up the auto scaler. So let's just have a look at the status there. There you go. Just the just that one activator. Uh, there we go. They're all running now, so that's fine. A couple of these sets. I said that that's quite normal. So we have Knative serving uh, deployed. So we're now going to go through and start deploying the uh, the various different applications. So we're going to start off with uh, with Node.js one. Uh, we're going to deploy all these into a Knative test project. So let's just create that. All right. And we're going to kick off the build for our Node.js application. So let us just kick that off and then we'll have a look at the code because obviously that can take a minute or so to run through. So that's that build started. So the code for this Node.js application, it's, it's very, very simple. All of these Knative serving applications, they all effectively listen for GET requests on port 8080. And that's the default port for Knative serving applications. Obviously, you can change that. Um, we've gone with the default for, for these examples. Um, they're all pretty similar. Um, as you can see, this one just uh, um, it accepts uh, GET requests to the route of the application, and it responds with, you know, hello world or whatever has been sent into it. So in this case, it'd be hello world. So we can look at the status of that build. It should still be happening. Um, let's just let's just watch that. There we go. Just give that a few seconds. Should be just pushing the image up now shortly. Once that's done, we will then delete the uh, the build part just to keep things tidy. There you go. Just pushing that image now. There's that push done. So there's our build part completed. So let's just delete that. And we will deploy the Knative service. So that's, uh, again, very simple YAML. Um, if I just have a look at that event display in Node.js, uh, let me just run that and we'll come back and have a look at it. So we're looking at this one. Um, we're just calling the uh, service of serving.knative.dev uh, API and we're creating a, a service which is a Knative service. The name is going to be event display node.js. 
and it's going to use an image from the polyglot Knative image stream in this namespace. So let's have a look. We should see that image stream. There we go. Uh, and we should also now see our Knative server. So let's have a look. There we go. The fact that that says true under ready, you would see that that should be under the ready uh, column, means this is ready to accept traffic and respond. And what it will do, um, obviously it will spin up a, uh, an initial version of that. So that's that running. If I ping, if I curl that, uh, we should get a response pretty much instantaneously. Um, there you go. So 0.18 of a second. That will be terminated probably in about a minute from now uh, when it gets no traffic. So when that happens, we'll, we will curl it again and we should see the response time generally about three seconds or so for a Node.js uh, container to spin up. So it's pretty quick from a, from a cold start. So let's just have a look. Uh, that should still be running. Yeah, so that's running. So while that's happening, let us kick off the C Sharp build and we'll come back and look at the Node.js one. So C Sharp again, we're going to use the uh, S2I uh, build. We're using the .NET uh, 3.1 uh, build image. Uh, the code we're going to be building is in samples C Sharp and we're going to push that to an image stream called C Sharp. So let us start that build off. All right, we'll give that a few seconds and we'll come back to it. So the code for this, um, Again, pretty simple. Let's just have a look at the C-sharp one. Well, no, I'm not a C-sharp developer, so this is kind of as much as I know on it. But you can see here again, we are listening on port 8080. Um, we're setting up uh, a route there, and then we're going to respond with hello, whatever was sent in to that route. So any anything sent into the, um, the route of the application. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at that build. Um, should still be going. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's actually gonna be finished in a few seconds. So while that's happening, let's just have a look at our Node.js um, Knative service. So you can see that shut down, it was terminated. So if I curl that, uh, we should see Knative server and we'll spin up a new pod, deploy, uh, deploy that container. So this is me hitting the Node.js uh, about should see it about three seconds for that to spin up and respond. There you go, three point four seconds for the response time. That's not too bad. And let's have, let's have a look at our pods. There we go. So our C sharp build is is completed, and there's our Node.js uh, instance up and running there. So let us delete our C sharp um, build pod. That's that done. And now we will deploy our C Sharp K Native service. So let's just deploy that. Event display C Sharp, which is this. They get pretty much exactly the same as the Node.js one. These are all the same, to be honest with you. Uh, we're just pulling the image from a different image stream. This time it's the C Sharp image stream. So again, same as before, that will spin up a, an initial app. Uh, there's the C-sharp app running, and I can hit that now with my curl. Should get a very fast response. There you go, 0.32 per second. Um, again, same thing will happen. Um, this will be terminated, and we will hit it again. And actually, uh, one of the things we've, we've noticed is that you know the C-sharp uh, containers tend to tend to spin up from a cold start slightly quicker than the rest normally get just under three seconds for a response from from c-sharp applications so while that is terminating let us kick off the quarkus one because this takes quite a while um the quarkus build we just had to uh define this as a as a kind of a custom build config um purely just to allow us to adjust the resources and so on of the build pod um so we'll kick this off in a second actually just let's just have a look at our c-sharp uh App is still running. Yeah, yeah, we'll give that a sec. So I'm going to create our uh, Quarkus image stream that we're going to push this image to once the build is done. And I'm going to kick off the build. Now this build takes about, can take about five minutes. So I might pause the video and come back to that. We'll see how we're doing. Um, 
So in the meantime, again, let us have a look at our pass. There's our, there's our C sharp one is uh, shutting down and our Quarkus build is running. So let us just ping our C sharp service again with this curl command. Call start, we should get it back up and running just under three seconds. Oh, there you go, just over three seconds, 3.09. But it's slightly faster than, than the Node.js one. Tends to be about the fastest of all the um, of all the languages and frameworks and so on. So, which is pretty cool. Um, so our Quarkus build is gonna take some time. Let us just have a look at the progress there. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna take about five minutes or so. So while that's going on, let's just have a look at the code. Um, now, again, I'm not a, a Quarkus Java developer. Um, so the code here, again, is pretty simple. Um, so you can see that we are um, just responding to the request with hello and name. Um, we've got a path slash greeting. We've also got a path um, just on the route as well, which will return with, um, We'll accept a GET request and return with hello to any calls to that, you know, to, to the route of the application. So, as I said, that's going to take some time. Uh, what I might do is just pause this and come back when uh, our build is complete. And when that's done, then we will, again, we'll, we'll create the, the Knative service from there. So, All right, so there we see uh, we've got that build complete. Um, we should be pushing the images now to the Quarkus image stream. So let's just give that give that a few seconds. It can, this can take a while as well. It's kind of it must be a big image. There we go. That's done. All right, so that's that 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 uh, build complete. Um, let's just have a look. Do there's that build. So let us delete our uh, build part and deploy our Knative service. So if I do OC and uh, get KSVC here, let's just wait for that. There you go. So this this can have it can take a few seconds for it to get the revision um, of the service. Uh, we're waiting for it to get to a state of ready, there we go. So our, our Quarters, Quarkus Knative service is now available. If I curl that, we should get a response pretty quickly, there you go, 0 0.018 of a second. Um, so again, if we just wait for that to terminate and we'll hit it again and we'll see you know around three seconds or so um, as with the other applications. So they're all around this, apart from the Spring Boot, uh, and the Camel K one, they're slightly slower. So we'll, we'll see those in a sec. Right, so while that's terminating, let us kick off our Vertex uh, build. And again, this can take some time. So we shall um, we shall come back to that. In fact, I'm gonna have to go back to the, the Quarkus build config, just have a look at a couple of things on that as well. So let us just create our Vertex one. So that's that build kicking off. Um, let's have a look at our parts. Quarkus one is still running, I have to wait for that to terminate. So just the reason that we created a Quarkus build, um, it's pretty simple. Generally, it, it, we found that we were getting um, resource issues with memory. So we created a, a custom build config just with a um, you know, four gig memory limit. Everything else is pretty much straightforward though. There, there's the, the Git repo that we're pulling from. There's the context directory samples Quarkus and we're pushing it then to the image stream. Uh, where, where, let's see that, yeah, we're pushing it to the image stream, Quarkus Quick Start Native. That's where the output's going to. So if we look at that image stream, we should see that there. There's the Quarkus Quick Start Native image stream, right? So, um, so let's have a look, that part is shut down, so we no longer have a Quarkus uh, service running. So if we hit that, we should get a response back generally again about three seconds or so. Yeah, 3.4 again. So slightly, you know, it's kind of around the same time as the Node one, slightly slower than the um, C-sharp one. C-sharp is still the fastest. Um, 
So let's have a look at our vertex uh, build. Let's just see what's going on there. Yeah, that's going to take a few minutes. So while that goes on as well, I'm going to uh, pause this and we'll come back to this then when this is uh, when that's complete. All right, so the vertex image is built now. Um, so let us have a look. Um, excuse me. Let us have a look at that image stream. So there's the vertex uh, image. Uh, it was updated about eight minutes ago. So we're going to deploy a Knative service from that. Um, let's just do that. And let us have a look at our. Okay, so there's our vertex um, Knative service. Let's give that a second there, so it's it's uh, available now. So if I curl that, we should get a pretty quick response time, obviously, because it's, it's running. Uh, there you go, 0.13 of a second. Then let's wait for that to terminate, and we'll try it again. And while that's happening, we will uh, kick off our spring, spring Boot build. So just kick that off. There we go. So let's have a look at the logs on that. Um, yeah, we've still got a, a Verdex one running. Just while that's happening, let's have a look at the code on the uh, Spring Boot one. So, um, again, pretty simple. We're just listening on the uh, the route of the application, and we're going to return Hello World. So, um, very simple Java application. Um, so, we shall wait for that to, uh, to finish building. Um, our Verdex one is still running. That should be terminating pretty quickly now. Give that a few seconds. All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. So let's have a look at our build uh, for the Spring Boot application. There you go, that should finish now pretty quickly. It's a lot quicker than the, um, the Quarkus and the Vertex ones. There's that build done, pushing the images now. That second, there you go. So let's push in that image. All right, so again, let's have a look at our pods. So the vertex uh, pod is shut down. Let us do a cold start curl on that. And see what kind of response time we got. There you go, 4.2 seconds on that. Okay, so a little bit slower again. Um, let's have a look at the uh, the Spring Boot build uh, that is completed, so we're going to delete that build and then we will create our Spring Boot Knative service. So let's just create that. And again, uh, let's have a look at our Knative services now. So there's our Spring 1, still status unknown. Um, just give it, um, give it a few seconds, it should go to 2 now in a sec. There you go. So there we've got our, our image. There you go. So now it's true. All right. So let us curl that. So 0.34 of a second for warm start. Okay. Um, let's, let, let's wait for that to shut down. Now, so while that's happening, the last one we're going to look at then is the Camel K one. Camel K is slightly different. Um, we're using the Camel CLI, uh, which you can get from uh, GitHub from the Apache Camel K releases um, repo. So uh, I'm going to use that to kick off a Camel integration, which is going to build the image and it's going to create the Knative service and do everything for us. So let us just kick that off um, and then we'll come back and try our Spring Boot cold start. So. There we go. So we can now, so if we do OC get IT, we should get the camel integration and it's building at the moment still. That'll take about a minute or so just to, to go through. Then, then it will deploy our uh, Knative service. So let us have a look at our Spring Boot pod. Uh, it's still running. There you go. It's terminating now. Let's do a cold start then on our Spring Boot one. This is a bit slower now than the rest. We'll get about 10 seconds or so, generally. Um, <clears throat> so obviously the container spinning up then, then it has to kind of mount the Spring Boot application then on top of that, which takes longer. So uh, there you go, you see it's significantly slower for a cold start. 
Uh, 14, yeah, about 15 seconds. So, yeah, so that, that's, that's just something to bear in mind. Um, so back to our Camel K one. So let's have a look at the Camel K code while that's building. So this is super simple. Uh, it's just a very simple Camel K route. That's all you need to, to do is, is provide this single Java file. Um, there you can see that I'm, I've got a, an endpoint slash test and I'm responding with um, whatever is the environment I'm, I'm, I'm uh, returning. So we'll see the response of that in a few minutes. So let's have a look at that. Um, uh, it's still building. Um, you see those pods there. You see there's the Camel K Builder running there. And once that builds, we should get another uh, K native service. We'll see a Camel K one here again. All right, should be finished pretty soon. There you go, now it's running. Um, if we look at our K native service, do we have Camel? There it is. And you can see it's still unknown. So let's just have a look again. There you go, it's running now. So I should be able to curl our route. There you go. And again, we'll just, just wait for that to terminate uh, and we'll do a cold start on it. Um, so there you go. So basically we now have um, Knative services, um, if I can get those, um, for Camel, K, uh, C Sharp, Node.js, Quarkus, Spring Boot and Vertex. They're all very simple, but you know, they should give you, uh, good developers, enough information to be able to uh, build build applications using those frameworks pretty easily. So, so finally, let's wait for our Camel K pod to shut down and we'll do a cold start on that. So, still running. I should shut down in a second. It's gone over, it's been active for over a minute. that one but well, there you go straight away it's terminating so there we go so let us uh, curl that again cold start on this one will be pretty slow again compared to the normal ones there you go 9.8 so yeah so generally what, what we've seen is no GS C sharp Quarkus, Vertex, they all tend to be around the three second mark, maybe three to four seconds. Um, Spring Boot then can be around sort of 15 seconds and the Camel K one then is around nine seconds. But obviously, you know, that's just a cold start once they're up and running, um, you know, they're all super fast. So, all right, thanks for watching and I uh, hope that was of use to you.